because the swine flu is something that we need to avoid at all costs because our herds in Barbados will be decimated as a result of it coming here. In another section of the press, I have already said that we need to ensure that we have strong border controls and we need to do everything possible to make sure that we do not have the swine flu here. It is not something that we want and we don't, it's not something that we need. What, is, what I think is dangerous though is that you can see that we are bringing in product from countries that hitherto we have never brought, it, brought them in from, and even in certain products. And there's a danger that if we drop our guard in terms of the border controls that we now have, in terms of ensuring that, for instance, that the products that are coming in meet certain standards, ensuring that the chief veterinary officer that is supposed to ensure that we only trade with countries that, that do their products under certain standards and make sure that it's there, we, they have to do their job. So our border controls at this time must be sound. They must at least ensure that they function in a way to protect our local productive sector from contamination from the swine flu. It is important. Um, I know the last place it was reported in the region is a DR. Um, we don't, I don't think we produced bringing any pork from the DR, which I hopefully it, we do not bring in any pork from there. However, we, I know that Jamaica is just next door to the DR. Jamaica does have a relationship with the DR. And to the extent that we are looking and Jamaicans are becoming very aggressive in terms of trying to bring in certain products here, we don't know, I don't know what is the, 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 uh, the level of border controls as it pertains to products coming in from the, the, from the, from the DR into Jamaica. And that is, and that is, how, that is how these diseases travel. They, because of the openness of borders that have been made as a result of products moving from one country to another, and the fact that there could be some weakness here, that it is likely, yes, as a result of lax border controls, it could happen. And that is why sometimes we have to make sure that persons bringing in product at the airport, that we do not have a situation where they bring in product that basically is not from an approved country. All these things can happen, you know, that, and because as a result of that, that is how that disease can come in.